Hello to all my people, and if you're watching live, checking us out on YouTube, or listening on your favorite podcast provider, you are most definitely my people. Welcome back to another episode of Botch Bots and Cheer Shots, powered by Last Word on Sports. I am your host, a chef by trade and a mark by choice. I am the Will Gray, and joining me tonight, he is representing the Killian Ayers Club. He is Mr. PWI Top 500. He is the king of New York and a godlike figure. He's back. It's Jay Bougie. Yes, Bougie? sir. Welcome back, brother. How are you, man? It's good to see you. <laughs> you know, it's feels good. I went what the last time it was around what takeover versus STP. I think we did this, or maybe like uh, one time after that. We did S STP and Takeover. Yeah. Then we did about a year after that. And now we're about a year after that. So it's I, we were, I check in with you about once every 12 months. I, I see what you do, I watch online, but I gotta connect about once a year to make sure we keep it all, keep yes. it up, keep it all in line, man. So there we uh, go. There we go. You, you had a busy year. We were just talking. I was getting my notes ready. Um, let's just go ahead and start right at the top, man. You just had a huge win at BCW. Anthony Gangone, you said after the match, it hurt when you sneezed. Yeah. Uh, let's start there. Tell me about it. Uh, so, yeah, Gang Gangone, uh, hell of a competitor. One of the best guys out here. Oh, man. You okay, Papa? My, my boy just fell. He all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, so... I, as you see, I'm the new uh, Grand Dragon champion. So it, it's funny, whenever this title was coming to be, uh, I think I had just made my BCW debut probably like a year, I'm probably like a, a show and a half ago, maybe or so, because I think it was like anniversary six or five. I, I can't remember. But the big thing was that the main title wasn't there. The heavyweight title wasn't around. Uh, Marina Shafir, she had it at the moment. So Anthony Cole, the man who runs the place, is there. We need another title. He gave me a call. He's like, Bougie, uh, if you're down, I want to put you in this tournament for us. I was like, hell yeah, let's go. Like, come on, you, you know me, bro. When it comes to gold titles and all that, that's that, that's what I'm about. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, I made it to the semifinals. Actually, no, it was the second round because I ended up I ended up losing to Anthony Gang Gold, which is the crazy part. And at the time, he had Prince Nana in his corner, and then he decided to put his hands on Shayla. And and that you know that was that was a big ordeal, which then led up to me facing Khan. You know, I uh, didn't get through it on that, but still a great match, uh, one of the best matches I've ever had. And that that kind of like laid the foundation for like the chase. This has been almost two years I've been chasing after this title. Uh, finally got it done, face Gango on Sunday, man. And uh, yeah, my like I said, it, when I sneeze, it it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a lot, but shout out to Gango. Uh, nothing I, I want to point out too, like with this title specifically, this is like probably the one title that I feel like I really have to work for, you know, not not on some like, hey, we're making a new belt. So here, we're going to give it to Bougie because we know he, he promotes, he does this, he does that. Like, nah, bro. Like I was in the hunt for this title for damn near two years, you know, from tag matches to single matches, going through the tournament to be like trying to be the inaugural champion, you know. So to finally get to it, I think we probably were like 20 plus minutes, man. It, it was definitely, um, it was something. But now, and new, you feel me? I had, had the family there, you know, I put put the picture up. And it was real good. Got my trading cards that same night, too. So we, we, we feeling good right now, man. Trading cards, gold. Um, how did that feel? At one point in wrestling history, man, those territory titles were it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The... And not everybody can be the world champion, but having a chance to be that territory champion and to hold that gold, what's that like now for you in 2024 to be the guy? Um, so I'm I'm older now, you know. I I, I got a, I got a son now, family man. So like I know before like, when we first met, you know, I, I was off the walls, man. Like I was ready to fight, go after everybody, do everything. I was real loud about things because at the time, you feel me? Like I feel like people wasn't trying to like listen to me. Trying to give me that chance, so I have to fight for it. I have to do what I have to do. Uh, but now being in the game for for a little bit, uh, it, it feels earned. Like like I just said, like right now, this feels like an actual title that I can make it mean something. Uh, Gango did a hell of a job with it. Um, but you know, my tag team partner is Pretty Boy Smooth. You know, shout out to Pretty Boy Smooth. He's an excess. I think it's Midwest uh, heavyweight champion. Mid Atlantic is one of those. NWA that throws a lot of Midwest and this. It, it, I mess up the name, so I'm sorry. But uh, PB said to me, he's like, yo, like, one of the big things that he loves about his title is that he, he's a firm believer in the man makes the title. He's the first ever champion for, to hold that title. And um, I feel like right now, for me, with the Grand Dragon Championship, yeah, it's not the BCW World title, but 
it's just right there. You feel me? The world title wasn't there. This was the title I was on the show. So when I was main event. You feel me? This is why everybody was coming after, including myself. So now with me being a guy that's carrying it, uh, I, I I got plans for it. You know, like I said, it, this one feels real special, like compared to everything else that I, that I've won. Uh, but yeah, I, it, it feels good. Like it, it feels good for the responsibility. I feel like this is gonna be the first time that I could really show people that I like Bougie can do this. But we we, we gonna give him something. You know, we're going to see what's up and what can he do now nah, as opposed to just, you know, they're just a belt, you know. Like, I, I I want this to mean something. So, anybody that want to throw hands for it, please come holler at me, please. <laughs>